Hello dear students and welcome to this video. In this video, I will talk about the main ideas that I will cover this week for the pre-calculus course. We will start this week by talking about how to solve certain type of trig equations using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula will, will, will be used when we have some trig equations in certain forms. For example, if we want to find or to solve a trig equation of the form of 2 sine squared x plus 3 sine x plus 1 equals 0. We will use it by doing a u substitution and the u will be the sine x. We will find the value of x by applying the rules of how to solve trig equations that we will learn earlier in the previous weeks. After, the, after that, we will talk about half-angle triangle identities. Half-angle formulas can be derived using the double-angle formulas. As we all learned, the double-angle formulas can be derived using the angle sum and difference formulas of trigonometry. Half-angles in half-angle formula are usually denoted by theta over 2, x over 2, a over 2, etc etc and the half angle is a sub multiple angle the half angle formulas are used to find the exact values of the trigonometric ratios of the angles like the angle 22.5 which is the half of the standard angle 45 15 degrees which is the half of the standard angle 30 etc etc the half angle triangle identities we will apply them the sine, the cosine, and the time function. We will start by sine a or theta over 2, which is equal to plus minus the square root of 1 minus cosine a over 2. Cosine a over 2 will be equal to plus minus square root of 1 plus cosine a over 2. And finally, we will talk about the tan of a over 2, which is equal to plus minus square root of 1 minus cosine a over 1 plus cosine a, or sine a over 1 plus cosine a, or 1 minus cosine a over sine a. We will learn how to apply these formulas or these identities to find a certain value for certain angles. Thank you for listening.